Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy. I teach negotiation and influence to help engineers and international professionals to get control of your life and the career. I've been in the U.S. for 10 years. I give presentations like once per month in conferences and different kind of workshops. And people ask me this question all the time. Why your English is so good? And honestly speaking, my English is not better than anybody from other non-English speaking country. What I believe, what I did differently is that I was sincere about investing in myself. So today I'm going to share with you the strategies that helps me to improve my English. First of all, I want to remove the conception of, oh, you have language talent. Here's the thing, something about me. I came to the United States with $800 in my pocket. I was here to study engineering and I became the youngest engineering PhD. I was always the best in my class about those like technology stuff. I was the worst in my English skills. I Should I share with you my GRE score? Yeah, so low. Basically my GRE was so low. I'm going to share with you the five things that's going to make a difference in my life. And first of all, it's also the most critical part. Shamelessly ask your American coworker to correct your English. When you engage with your American coworkers, why they would like to help you. You need to be a fun person. For example, <laughs> okay, now guys, follow me. We're doing the Chinese training right now. We're learning four words. Now follow me. Beautiful meal. Maybe. Maybe. Beautiful girl. Menu. Menu. Beautiful fish. Menu. 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 Awesome. Uh, finally, beautiful cow. Menu. 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 So in the future, when you walk in the road in China, make sure when you call any beautiful girl, do not call her any <laughs> other word Me. by accident. A beautiful girl is. How to say beautiful girl in Chinese? Menu. <laughs> no, that's beautiful cow. <laughs> Okay, well, all set for today's training. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of work. <laughs> Through this fun interaction, they start to understand our culture and start to help each other out. So most of the time, they don't really want to learn Chinese, but after they understand where you come from, they start to have sympathy, start to trust you, start to help you out. So those are the fundamental of relationship building, how to influence others. I recommend everybody learning those skill set as well so that you can make more people helping you out and help you to improve. And second thing I did was I invest time and money to study a course called Advanced English Pronunciation. So it's a systematic training to teach you how to say ah, uh, oh, uh in American way. And through there, I think it was like two months training, I was able to learn what's the right way, the best way. Of course, everybody learned how to pronounce those basic words back in China, back in your home country. But the person who taught you are not English speaker in general. So I recommend learning it from an English speaker in the US, taking a class. And I already collected a list of classes which I believe could be very helpful, the similar classes I've taken before. So you should do your own uh, due diligence. I will link those links down below. Feel free to comment down below. Let me see what other courses you discover and get my opinion as well. And third is that I also have private tutoring. Besides taking group classes, I would just hire or find some ways to get somebody to do one-on-one -on -one training with me. Always like bring in the writing copies to somebody who's an English speaker and have him or her to watch me, crack me over there on the spot. So the way you see it is like when you learn English, it's similar to learning those math problems. Think about when we learned those math problems back in China. You take group training with lots of people and you also do homework and in addition you also start to hire a private tutor if you have extra money you want to do more so same thing as english that's why i encourage everybody to spend some time and money to invest in group classes and also individual one-on-one -on -one training as well that's the best way to get a maximum outcome number four i would go to american bars 
I'm serious. I was just there to hang out with my American classmate, American co-workers. Where do American go? They go to bar, then they start beep ba beep ba beep ba beep ba. Uh, you just listen, you learn, and bar is the hardest place to learn English. Was because it's so loud and people are a little bit drunk, tipsy. You can barely hear anything. But if you're able to capture and help have a conversation in a bar setting, you're a golden. And number five is the app. So the app is something helps you to do homework, which I recommend is something called English Central. I believe it's free version to get access to lots of videos. And in addition, if you wanna do advanced features, it's fifteen dollars per month. This is not a sponsored video. This is the app I personally use. I find it really, really useful. So on this app, you're able to do assessment of your English level, and they give you a one minute, two minutes video, help you to follow it. Then you gradually improve your English. So practice is equal to the homework. So find your own app as well. Feel free to link any other apps you have using in the comment down below, and I can give you my opinion of those apps. See if those are the right app for you or not. The most important message I want to deliver to everybody is that it is important to invest in yourself. This is the only investment you will have guaranteed return if you invest in yourself. And in addition, if you believe that English is an important skill set to improve, to master, you'd better spend time and money. I know lots of people spend money on buying an LV bag or whatever. That's part of your life. If you believe that career advancement or improving certain type of soft skills important, it's not just sitting home and practice once per day. Anything you need to see any significant improvement, you need to spend the time and dedication. Tell yourself, my goal is improve this. I'm going to get all kind of resources that help me out. Either it could be group training, could be one-on-one -on -one training, any kind of training, and you gotta do it again and again. If you want to improve your English, start to do the five things I tell you today. Believe me, it will give you the best return. Hi, this is Dr. Nancy. If you like videos like this, please consider giving me a thumb up and leave a comment down below because I really appreciate that you give me feedback. It's going to be my encouragement to continue making more videos like this. Thank you very much. Happy New Year. See you soon. Bye.